All right, everyone, redo blue episode. As you can see, I got blue here, and we're at Gordon's house right now. And today we are installing brakes and rotors, finally, because I was not able to drive this car for a while now because the rotor's fucked. And before I show you guys this, um, I don't need any hate comments. I know I screwed up. I knew I was getting new rotors all around anyway, so that's why I kind of just said screw it and put it off because I'm a procrastinator. But you can't really see it too well, but you see how the surface right here is really shiny, and then like you have this ring around it that's like rigid and fucked up. Yeah, that's the... Um, warm brake pad and the caliper like digging into that rotor so it makes some horrible sounds. It's ugly isn't it? It's pretty ugly. But yeah that's what we're working with today and I'm very excited because after that then we're smooth sailing. I changed the oil in it already. Brakes and rotors are pretty much the last little step and we'll be good to go to drive it around for a while and it's beautiful out right now. It's like 60 so can't complain. But we have the whole squad coming to help us and Gordon has his Cobra that he's gonna work on at the same time and speaking about Gordon I don't know where they're at and I know they took the Cobra out so I guess we'll just wait for him. Okay so I hear a Cobra off in the distance. Let's see if we can spot it. have finally arrived so I think it's time to get this project started everyone all right real quick we're gonna have to break these lug nuts real fast and we're gonna work on the fronts first Alright, so the lug nuts are broke. We're gonna get this thing jacked up and yeah, we'll rip this front wheel off. Shut that monster truck up! Oh, damn, you're leaving. <laughs> well, cool. yeah. oh, I thought you were doing something. Well, I'm only one person. All right, so we got the first wheel off. Now we're gonna start tearing this down, and I'm gonna show you how to do this front and the back. So there's no need to do all four sides on camera. It's kind of pointless, and it's gonna take a while. So we're just gonna. Get this done, and yeah, we'll be cruising the cars and coffee tomorrow, hopefully. All right, so I'm Bye. using my little new tool set my grandfather got me for Christmas, and you're gonna need your 12 millimeter. We're gonna work on this caliper right here. Rip this off, and it fits up there, okay. and it fits down there. So we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to break this off real quick, and this might be a bitch, so. How? Why do I stuff on? All right, well, that actually broke relatively easy. <laughs> These things are long as fuck. All right, we're just One eternity <laughs> You fuck. We will be back once I get this off. So we just got these two bolts off, calipers off now, and these brake pads are shit. It's probably a really good idea that I'm doing this right now. So we're just gonna throw this up here, let that chill, and this is like one thing you wanna make sure when you have your caliper chilling up here, make sure it's sturdy because if this thing falls, this has some weight to it. It'll rip this line right off and that's just, that's just gonna be fucked if that happens. So make sure this is up here good and try not to knock it off. That's another key thing. All right, so the cool thing about the Mustangs is, is like normally when we did the Mini Cooper rotors, he had like little bolts in here holding the rotor in. So this is cool because it's just free, it just sits there. Now we just broke these um, bolts back here. We're gonna tear these off and this whole bracket will come off. This rotor will slide right out, pop the new rotor on and Throw the brakes in and we're good to go. It's pretty much that easy. These are the two bolts and here's the bracket that just slides right off. And like I said, it's pretty sweet with these because pop it off and that's it. There's no bolts holding it on or anything. You toss that, Tyler's fit. I'm putting this down, dude. You gotta hit these with brake cleaner because they're oiled up and that will not be good trying to stop an oily rotor, so. All right, so we got that cleaned up. We're gonna slap this on and reverse the process. We're gonna slap that on and we're just gonna wipe that back down because my hands are obviously dirty and yeah, and if you're wondering why I didn't get drilled and slotted, well, these were a gift, so can't be but so picky. Now we're gonna slap our bracket back off. I'm gonna wipe this down real fast. All right, so we threw our new brake pads on with our rotor, and now we're just putting these bolts back in to hold the brake pads there. And then after that, we just gotta compress the caliper, piston thingy, whatever the fuck, and then throw the caliper on. 
Then we gotta go to the back, get that side done. So we're gonna tighten these up. <laughs> yeah. So right now what we're doing is compressing the, um, the caliper pistons in. And obviously with these, when you use your brakes, your brake fluid runs through the lines. And that's what opens and closes in my brake pad. Just fucking fell off. All right, so now we're gonna try to get this caliper on here. All right, so we got this lined up. Gonna throw our first bolt in there. Let's get this started. Is it still the same size? Or you change it? Why don't you change it? All right, that bolt's in. Throw this other one in. Just have to... There it goes. All right, so we're gonna take our 12 millimeter again. And now we're just gonna tighten these up here. What about me? Bitch, you're supposed to be filming. Make sure they're nice and snug. So the front right brake is done. Now we're just gonna do the back right. And we're not gonna film the left side because it's not really necessary. We're just gonna knock it out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. They're kind of a bitch that just getting the piston compressed right. And I think in the back we actually have to use the compression tool because you can't just squeeze those in. I think you have to turn those in. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure they're just, um, you have to turn those in. So we're gonna go to the back and get those done and slap the wheels on. And yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it. But now we're just gonna take these off. Same thing, gonna break these. Tyler grabbed the wrench because this bottom one you can't get with the ratchet. So. Let me Not see this. Right there. Hold on, let me see. You, should, you might be able to do that in. That's probably bad. Yep. There you go. Wrong way. Nope, right way. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear him? No. <laughs> So yeah, I was right. These, you're gonna need that tool to compress them. The spin tool, they're kind of a pain in the ass, and if you watch um, the installation we did on the Mini Cooper, they were a pain in the ass. It took us so long, but these look pretty good because you can't really strip them because they're just slots. They're not actual circle like um, bits that were on the Mini Cooper, so we just gotta be careful with that. We're gonna throw the new, um, the new brake pads in. And same thing as the front, we have to take this bracket off. So we gotta break this bracket. This will pop right off. Pop the new one on and same thing guys, vice versa. But yeah, we're gonna get these broken real quick. So we broke these loose and we're gonna snag this bracket off. <sighs> Almost done with this. Almost done. I hate doing these things. That one's loose. Derek wanted to have a sword fight. What happened to you going? That? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I was Are you filming? filming? Yeah. <laughs> I was filming the logo. It, was, it slides so no. <laughs> <laughs> Someone pass me new road there, please. Right there. Where? When <laughs> <laughs> she's a virgin and you're trying to oh. <laughs> How'd you know I was a virgin? <laughs> Wanna get the brake cleaner on that, please? Thank you, boss. All right, he's gonna hit that with the brake cleaner, get that cleaned up, and we're gonna slap that on. It's actually good. I don't know how to put it on. All right. I don't know how well you can see me, but we're gonna put the camera down real quick because I need him to hold this. But what we're gonna do is just twist this. Obviously, kind of like a two-man job right now because I can't hold it and do it at the same time. So we're just gonna compress these real quick. All right, so we got the caliper on. We're just lining this up now. We ran into a little difficulty, like compressing it. It just took so long and we didn't really think it was working. We got this on, now we just had to line the bolts up. Slap the bolts back in and that's it. So we'll just get that done real fast. Can you guys grab me just a flathead real quick, please? I can go get Tyler for you. This is done. Now we're just gonna throw this wheel back on and that's pretty much it for this side, guys. And we're just gonna knock out this other side real quick because we're trying to trying to get some food and go wash these things up for tomorrow morning, cars and coffee, but these are done. But you guys pretty much just saw the little tutorial how to throw these on. Sometimes they're a bitch with this, especially the clips. We'll see you guys in just a second. So we just got the brakes put on the car and obviously they're new, so they're like acting funny. I don't know, maybe maybe just when they wear in, they'll be fine. But right now, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna um, wash up. We're gonna get some dinner and I think we're gonna all wash the cars and do a little photo shoot after so that's in plan that's the somebody plan, always so. gets hurt it's either me or ted yeah they were oh, they were hitting always. each other with and tyler actually i have myself with a sledgehammer <laughs> <laughs> well we'll see you guys in that's just a bit first. all right everyone it is about two days later from the clip you just saw the last clip in gordon's garage now we ran into a slight problem with blue and the problem was the left driver's side brake 
was like screeching really bad and grinding super horrible and I was driving on my way home from Gordon's and it was just horrible like you could smell the brakes burning really bad and I knew something was wrong with it and we were gonna pull it apart again that night and stuff but it actually started raining and we were tired it took us about six hours to do this full brake job because when you're filming car parts like this and installations it's so tedious and you have to make sure you film and it's just like so much to do at once so it took us a while and we were just tired and we didn't pull it out but today me and my dad actually ripped off the wheel ripped off the caliper took off the brakes and actually one of the brake pads was sitting on the clip wrong and it wasn't completely where it locks in or slides into the clip so that's exactly what it was it was rubbing and everything but as you can see she's looking gorgeous I took her and just washed her gassed her all up she's filled with gas ready to take her to school I haven't taken her to school this semester yet and I'm super excited that's fixed this thing is riding like a freaking Cadillac right now I'm not even joking you it feels so smooth like I, I, I'm just ecstatic I'm so excited about that like no problems whatsoever like we just did the oil new broders and brakes and I got some special redo blue episodes coming your way very soon and I'm so excited anyways guys that's gonna wrap up this little episode of redo blue brakes and rotors and I hope you guys enjoyed if you did remember hit that like button everybody it means so much to me leave a comment if you want to know anything about the car and most importantly hit that subscribe button everyone almost at that 5k and we're gonna throw down for that one but until next time y'all take care and I'll see you later Too real, motherfucker tell me how you